Hello everyone, I'm Zahra from Moodle MOOCs Advanced Training for Moodle Teachers. Welcome to my course, English for Students of Dentistry. Uh, as you see here, uh, this course is a 14-week uh, academic course. The first week is specified to introduction, then some weeks are specified for uh, instructing reading comprehension skills, and then some writing skills. The students have already passed some courses uh, on this, so here they are just wrapping up these techniques for their academic purposes. Then uh, you know, during these weeks, um, speaking, discussion, uh, and the public um, uh, public presentations, speeches, and uh, presentation in conferences are instructed. Then we've got final exam and certificate of completion are accessible, will be accessible here. Well, uh, I want to show you how I added some resources. Let me uh, turn the editing on. Of course, to show them, I do not need to turn them on, but I want to show you how to create them. So first, I need to turn the editing on. As you see in the description, uh, there are some hyperlinked uh, words for resources, course syllabus, scoring policy and rubric, and needs analysis. That uh, when I added them to the resources, they became here. The kind of hyperlinked automatically. Okay, as you see, uh, first of all, I've got one label to uh, as a kind of heading or kind of title, topic, or separating different activities. Announcement forum was provided here by default. I added um, meeting, live meeting. I scheduled the live meeting on big blue button. Uh, a file of course syllabus, scoring, uh, of course this was the URL and the folder of scoring policy and rubric, the forum of intro introduction as well as help desk support. Also in the next week I added one book including some reading comprehension technique. I show you how I added it, and I wanted to schedule one Google Meet, but there was some problem that I will show you how I faced it. Okay, let's first of all go to welcome page to see how I added this label. I should go to add an activity or resource. I uh, can access all the activities and resources here, but since it's not easy to find, I go to the tab of resource. Okay, if I, I want the label to be at hand, I can click on the star and then they will be accessible in the tab of recommended. Let's be in this part, label. Using label, I can provide students with some text as title and separation between uh, activities, or I can um, insert videos, audio, uh, multimedia, files. Any of these activities can be uh, added or inserted here. But here, for example, I want to use them as a kind of title. So, Let's, for instance, type welcome to the course. I can uh, play with the font color, background colors, make them italicized, bold, or change the Heading style. Okay, 
just to attract attention we can play with colors too as i mentioned i could add one video introducing something but here i just want to use it as a kind of title uh, so in this case i do not want to add any restriction to access or activity completion because it's not an activity let's save it and see how it appears if the term editing is all off it is seen here in this way i can drag uh, all these activities if the the editing is on can drag and drop it forward For example, right before the welcome meeting, this could be an announcement or a kind of title to attract attention to the meetings. Okay, this is the label. But now let's go to the uh, big blue button. Again, I should go to activity and resource. I could use big blue button, uh, not here. Perhaps it's among the activities, yes, not a resource. So the name of a virtual classroom should be added. Meeting one. Notify this change to users enrolled. I can uh, click on this part so that notifications will be sent to people. I can uh, write descriptions. Activity room setting. I can set if I want, uh, you know, the welcome note. If I want uh, the participants to wait for moderator and mute them on start or any other option view of view for recording so i can click here so that the recording preview will be shown i can add some presentation files like powerpoint presentation videos or anything like settings these settings can be disabled. These are some other roles assigned to people. Maybe one of the students wants to present, so I can uh, give them other rights to be viewer or moderator. Schedule. I can schedule for the sec uh, session. If I click on these parts, uh, the date will be activated so that I can schedule, for example, for a one hour session. Common module setting, restriction access. I don't want to make changes in them because when the meeting is over, it won't be accessible by default. Okay, so you see the meeting is here. I can again drag and drop it everywhere. But I wanted to schedule a Google Meet. Let's see how I can schedule a Google Meet and what problem I faced. Um, the name, the room name can be called meeting one or weekly meeting one. The description can be just a welcome. 
these are saved since the last time I tried to uh, make it. Okay, I can uh, check the date. Here's Friday 14th. I want to schedule um, first of June. I want to schedule the meeting on June from 3 to 4. Let's check. That will be Tuesday. The next part says uh, I can activate this part. Repeat the event date above as follows. So I can adjust it on repeat on Tuesdays. So I do not need to create a link, a new link every time. Repeat every one week. Repeat until, okay. It started 1st of June, so let's go to the end of the June. Or 1st of July. You can check the calendar, everything okay. Now I need to generate a room URL, I should go to my Google Meet, create the Google, um, it's here, create the session here, a new meeting, start an instant meeting, schedule, Um, I think I should create a meeting for later. And uh, this URL needs to be added here. But I cannot add any URL here. That's the problem. Generate room URL. Maybe I need to log in again. Okay, Google hasn't verified this app. I think I need to again work on it because each time I came here, I couldn't add any URL here, either based on uh, scheduling uh, in Google Calendar or coming here and scheduling it here. So let's now leave Google Meet for the next time. I can talk about other activities in the next video.